dear students for today i am posting my next video on applications of electronic engineering in which i am going to tell about electronically controlled electronically controlled suspension that is ecs system for vehicle so the a topic will be electronically controlled suspension ecs system in vehicle okay now first we'll go to see the definition of it and in that we'll understand what is this electronically controlled suspension okay so if you see the definition it says that the electronic suspension is essentially a computer control system that can adjust the ride characteristics riding characteristics okay and performance of your vehicle unlike the air suspensions which you have normally in earlier vehicles and electronic suspension modifies the shocks and or struts electronically to ensure a smooth ride some electronic suspensions are also designed to automatically adapt to changing road conditions for improved handling in all sorts of terrain okay now here what does this mean is say if you are having your vehicle say this is your vehicle so here we can show your vehicle here say this is a vehicle now this vehicle is going to go on a road this road can have a pit or this road can have a bump okay so anything can come and these wheels are going to go in this pit and on this bump okay now in this case okay whenever such type of a condition of road comes into picture okay there are two things one is you can sense the wheel movement you can sense the road and then you can see that the shock absorbers or whatever shocks you are going to handle here for the wheel are adjusted such that the wheel can move in and out but the inside seat the person who is also sitting on the inside seat will does not feel that effect okay so the status of the wheel and the road condition should be sensed by some sensors and then electronically this shock this shock absorbers should be controlled okay otherwise you can do another technique where the height of the vehicle will be there this is the height of the vehicle this height of the vehicle can be varied up and down or depending upon the road condition okay so once it is going in this you can get the height down once it is going in this you can get the height on top so in that case you can vary the height of the vehicle and you can also make the changes in your absorbers in your uh, performance of the vehicle on a pit road on a pits on the road or on a bumpy road okay so here if you see the basic idea here will be your sensors are very important so here you are having your sensors these are very important because they will give the information of wheel speed brake condition vertical acceleration lateral acceleration steering wheel position and vehicle level position so for all these parameters you require sensors so depending upon the information from these all it is going to give to the electronic control unit okay and then the electronic control unit is going to activate the actuators or the servers which are going to see the suspension of your vehicle okay so here the suspension module will also give its feedback to the electronic control unit and in the same procedure this is going to a control that suspension such that your vehicle the person sitting inside the vehicle don't feel the pressure of that bad road conditions okay so here uh, if you see the explanation for sensors sensors can be your acceleration sensors displacement sensors steering wheel sensors so for all parameters whatever you want to give to the electronic control unit all those parameters should be first sensed or converted into electrical signal 
and given to the electronic control unit. Then second, you have actuators, shock absorbers with electrically variable resistance and or struts that can be extended or retracted based on electric signal input. So these work on your electric signal and with the help of electric signal, they will be activated. Okay, these are your actuators. So there are two types of electronic suspension in which the first type will be adaptive and the second will be active. In the first type that is adaptive, we are going to see the road condition and the wheel status. And accordingly, we are going to adjust the suspension system of the vehicle. In the second type that is active, we are going to concentrate on the height of the vehicle and we are going to adjust the height of the vehicle. And in that way, we are going to improve the suspension of the vehicle. So if you see the explanation for adaptive electronic suspensions, if you see that note, then here we can say that an adaptive electronic suspension is responsible for uh, controlling the shock absorbers and their dampening performance. Simply put, they adjust the shocks as needed to deliver a smooth driving experience. So they are going to modulate your suspension system. Adaptive suspensions can adjust the shocks using a solenoid and a valve that's placed on the strut. The solenoid uh, connects to a, a computer in the system and monitors the road conditions. When stiffness and overall suspension performance need to be adjusted, the solenoid uh, communicates this information to the system. Then it will activate the walls to open and close as needed to regulate the amount of hydraulic fluid going into the shocks. An adaptive suspension may also use a magneto damper or a, a damper filled with fluid that contain metal particles. An electromagnet controls these little pieces of metal to adjust the pressure and stiffness in each damper. Okay, So here what we see is overall, generally speaking, we can say that the sensors will sense the status of the wheel and the road condition. And then with the help of solenoid and walls, we are going to uh, modulate the suspension system of the vehicle so that suspensions are very effectively adjusted and the person who is sitting inside the vehicle doesn't feel much effect of, of, about the bad road conditions. Okay. Then the next method is your active electronic suspension. An active electronic suspension changes the ride height, that is the vehicle height, for your vehicle okay so ride height for your vehicle to improve performance and towing capabilities this type of electronic suspension uses hydraulics or electromagnets to operate active suspensions that adjust hydraulically use sensor to monitor the vehicle's movement and ride height when the performance or ride height needs to be regulated that is the height of the vehicle needs to be regulated the system activates a hydraulic pump. This is important. The system activates a hydraulic pump that pressurizes the liquid in the shocks. This will configure the stiffness of the suspension as well as the height of the vehicle to your specific preferences. Electromagnetically controlled active suspensions work similarly to hydraulically controlled systems. The only difference is that these systems use electromagnetic motors instead of pumps to adjust a car's ride height. This type of active electronic suspension is known to respond faster and use less power than hydraulics. So this is the second system in which the suspension of the vehicle can be adjusted by the ride height of the vehicle, the vehicle height, okay, ride height of the vehicle. Then if you go to see both the systems, which type of electronic suspension system is right for you? Okay, Both types of electronic suspensions can improve the performance, but in different ways. If you are looking for something to enhance your driving experience during your commutes, consider an adaptive electronic suspension. Its ability to monitor the road and automatically adjust the stiffness of the shocks will allow you to experience a smooth ride in most of the road conditions. Okay, But for those people who are looking to adjust the vehicle height for towing and for performance purposes, 
should uh, consider installing installing an active electronic suspension kit this allow you to raise or lower your vehicle will help you tow more and ensure a smooth ride so in this case the ride height of the vehicle can be adjusted for your a proper electronic suspension okay so electronically a controlled suspension can work in two ways one was by adjusting electronic suspension system can work in two ways one by adjusting and one by active electronic suspension kit okay thank you students